So meron tayong apat pang useful combinations. Yan yung integral of square root of u squared either plus or minus a squared or d integral of du over this quantity or it is integral of a squared minus u squared du or this is in the denominator or at the bottom integral of du over this. Now the formula for this will be quite long so I improvise or I develop a mnemonic chart for this. I call it the Padilla Circle 1 and the Padilla Circle 2. I invented this when I was still in college at Mapua. No? So, whenever you're dealing with u squared plus or minus a squared, either in the numerator or denominator, you use the Padilla Circle 1. So, you commit to memory the elements of the circle. The upper elements are the same, one half u plus minus a squared for this two you use this this is plus a squared so they differ at the bottom this is ln of plus this is arc sine u over a so if a is ahead of u followed by a minus sign then it would be arc sine u over a now all you need to do is write everything that you see in the padillas chart so here you just do one complete clockwise revolution going back to you okay and this is the entry point so in here you stop at the bottom you don't return to you you get it so just write everything you see in the chart this bold yellow given line represents the given whenever you cross this line you write this quantity Okay, so if you're dealing with square root of a squared minus u squared, this line represents this one. Okay, let me show you how to use it. For example, the integral of the square root of u squared plus or minus a squared du, it's this. So you write it one half of the open parenthesis, u the given line, it's u, then the given line, you write the given given u squared plus if it is plus minus if it is minus a squared okay so that is the given line then plus or minus a squared plus if the given is plus minus if the given is minus a squared then loan of the given line so this is going to be loan of the given the given line is the square root of u squared plus or minus a squared then plus u plus u whether this is plus or minus this is always plus okay then that's the end so plus c close quantity you get it now if the given is at the bottom the entry point is at the bottom so we will enter the padilla circle here so the integral of du over the given at the bottom is going to be loan of the given this is the given the square root of u squared either plus or minus a squared that's the given then plus u you get it plus c but if it is a squared minus u squared you use the padilla circle too so integral of this is going to be one half of open parenthesis u this one then plus the given line you write the given a squared minus u squared okay and then plus a squared then arc sine arc sine of u over a so close quantity you get it you end at the bottom if the given is at the bottom then the entry is at the bottom so the integral of du over the given is going to be the arc sine of u over a do you follow let us have this example we are asked here to integrate the square root of sine squared x plus 4 cosine x dx look at this expression 
This is the square of a function sine and this is a square of 2. So, it is in this form, right? So, in here, if your u is sine x, u squared is sine squared x. And if your a squared is 4, your a is 2. So, this will be a squared, right? So, if your u is sine x, your d of u is derivative of sine is cosine of x dx. So, this is perfectly du. This is perfectly u squared. This is a squared. So, basically, it is the integral of u squared plus a squared du. So, with that, we will apply the Padilla's circle 1. So, this is going to be 1 half of u. Our u is sine of x. The given line, this one, the square root of sine squared x plus 4. Then plus a squared. We use plus because this is plus a squared which is 4 then ln of the given line ln of the given line which is this one square root of sine squared x plus 4 then plus u u is sine of x close quantity close quantity you get it plus c this is going to be the integral of this one. Clear? What about this one? Integral of e to the x dx over the square root of e to the 2x minus 25. So take note that e to the 2x may be written as e to the x quantity squared 25 may be written as 5 squared. e to the x dx. So this is in the form of integral of square root of u squared minus a squared. Wherein your u is equal to e to the x and your a is equal to 5. Right? We just have to make this du. If u is e to the x, what is d of u? That is e to the x dx. This one. This is du. Integral of du over u squared minus a squared, it is in this form. But the given, which is this one, is at the bottom. So we enter at the bottom. So, this is going to be ln of the given line, copy this, square root of e to the 2x minus 25, then plus u. And our u is e to the x. So, close quantity plus c. This is going to be the integral of this. So, the difficult to memorize formulas made easy by the Padilla's circle 1. My mnemonics chart that I invented when I was still in college. What about this one? The integral of x square root of 9 minus x to the fourth. So we have the square root. So we just check if this can be handled using square root of a squared minus u squared. So this can be written as integral of square root of 9 can be written as 3 squared. x to the fourth can be written as x squared squared, right? Times x dx. So take note this is in the form of integral of the square root of a squared minus u squared, right? Correct. So, we just need to partner it with the u. 
if u squared is x squared squared, meaning your u is x squared. So that u squared is x squared squared, that is x to the fourth. So your a is equal to a squared is 3, so this is 3. So that a squared is 3 squared. If u is x squared, the d of u is what? 2x d of x. So the only thing missing here to make it du is, is what? 2. So we multiply this by 2 to offset that, multiply it also by 1 half. So this is a full pledge integral of a squared minus u squared and this is d of u. Right? So for square root of a squared minus u squared du, we use the Padilla's chart 2. Okay? So writing again for review purposes, the Padilla's circle 2. So we have here this circle. This is the given line representing this one. Then one half of u plus a squared, then arc sign of u over a. So we rotate one rotation and this is the ending. So therefore, this is going to be equal to one half of, that one half is not part of this. Integral of this is one half of u, our u is x squared, the given line representing this one, 9 minus x to the fourth, then plus a squared, your a squared is 3 squared or 9, arc sine of u over a, your u is x squared, your a is 3. So, close quantity plus C. So simplifying, we will have here 1 half times 1 half, 1 fourth of x squared square root of 9 minus x to the fourth plus 9 arc sine of x squared over 3 plus C. This is your integral. You get it? What about if it's like this? The integral of x dx over the square root of 9 minus x to the fourth. So same thing, we can write this as integral of x dx over the square root of 3 squared minus x squared squared. So this is in the form of integral of u over a squared minus u squared. But your du is 2x dx. So to make this du, we multiply by 2. To offset it, multiply it also by 1 half. So this is already du, while this is in the form of the square root of a squared minus u squared, wherein your u is x squared. So, this is one half. If the given is under, the entry to the Padilla circle is under. So, this is going to be arc sine of u over a. Your u is x squared. Your a is 3 plus c. This is going to be your integral. So, basta alam mo, ang Padilla Circle 1 and Padilla Circle 2, the integral of the square root of a squared minus u squared or u squared plus or minus a squared, either in the numerator or in the denominator, no problema. Get it? Basta lagi lang kayong subscribe and updated dito sa online TV natin. Okay? So, and it's better if you will enroll in our training specifically for the subject for integral calculus. So, see you.